So following the hyper on MWC, here at Clove, we couldn't help but feel that there's a device that's been overlooked somewhat. And that's Sony's latest mid-range beauty, the Xperia 10 Plus, as we have here. Now, the Xperia 10 Plus is currently shipping from Clove Technology and comes with 64 gigabytes of internal storage as well as 4 gigabytes of RAM for only £349, including VAT, which, considering what you actually get for this device, really is incredible value for money. So what exactly is it that makes this device stand out from the crowd? Well, I took it out and about to have a real good look at what it can do. Of course, the most notable feature of the Sony Xperia 10 Plus is its Y21 to 9 aspect ratio. Now, admittedly, it did take a while for me to become accustomed to. However, this has been crafted with one very specific purpose to match the aspect ratio of the cinema. Indeed, Sony have actually claimed that 70% of the films currently available on Netflix are made specifically for this ratio. And so this really is a device for media lovers. However, more on that later. So the display itself is actually a 6.5 inch Full HD Plus LCD panel with a 1080 by 2520 pixel resolution at 422 pixels per inch. Colours have on the whole been very bright and vivid for me and contrast is significantly better than I'd ever expected of an LCD panel. Maximum brightness levels come in just ever so shy of 600 nits and use in direct sunlight has in the large been okay. That said, actual phone in hand I haven't actually experienced too much better. I mean it's one of those things you can't really appreciate until you hold it yourself, but it really does fit the hand very well indeed. Now Sony actually claimed that the Xperia 10 Plus was specifically designed to be ergonomic, and the thin frame has been very beneficial in this respect. Measuring in at 167 by 73 by 8.3 millimeters, the device is equally slimmer than most and lighter at 180 grams. Despite having a thinner frame, the Xperia 10 Plus has been crafted with an aluminium body that feels surprisingly sturdy and I haven't spent all of my time worrying about scratches or bumps as I have with many other devices. Gorilla Glass 5 also drapes over the front and the back for added toughness and durability. Now I understand why that tall screen might be rather marmite to some, however Sony have included a host of features to help you manoeuvre around such a massive screen. Side Sense is a personal favourite of mine, and with only a double tap on the side of the device you can have immediate access to all of your favourite apps. From here you can also enable one-handed mode, which is particularly helpful if you have small hands like me and find it difficult to reach the top of the screen. The multitasking abilities of this device are also great, since the proportions of the screen mean you can open an app in portrait in 16x9 and simultaneously play a video in landscape. Now this really is a device that makes the most of every single inch, providing full edge-to-edge -edge entertainment. Now on this note, Sony's digital sound enhancement produces high resolution audio that really helps towards a fully immersive experience. Smart amplifier technology also gives richer louder sound with enhanced bass which is great for playback, particularly if you're watching action scenes. Alongside this, Sony DSEE HX software works to inject more life into music by upscaling compressed files whilst LDAC allows for high-res audio over a Bluetooth connection, and I've actually been really pleased with the results in the time that I've had the device. Now if gaming is more your thing, then we currently know of four games designed for this 21 to 9 aspect ratio. Asphalt 9, Arena of Valor, Fortnite and Marvel Strike Force. Now with this ratio, gaming is really quite something as you have so much extra space for controls and so it feels much more immersive on the whole. A lot of popular games however don't go above 19 to 9 ratio and the black bar on one side is certainly noticeable without being too intrusive. Now moving on to the camera, the jewellery setup of the Sony Xperia 10 Plus is certainly impressive for a device at this price point. The primary shooter is a 12 megapixel sensor with a 76.3 wide angle field of view and an f1.7 aperture. This is coupled quite nicely by an 8 megapixel telephoto lens with a 44.6 degree angle and f2.4 aperture. This dual setup works simultaneously to create an artistic looking bokeh effect. That main 12 megapixel sensor works to capture all of the finer details in the subject, whilst the 8 megapixel secondary lens creates that depth map to blur the background. 
Now, whilst it's not on the same level as flagships as you might expect, the results that I've had with the Xperia 10 Plus have been pretty decent for a device at this price point. Now, alongside this, the Xperia 10 Plus comes with 2 times optical zoom, as you may be able to see from some of the images here, as well as 5 times digital zoom, which is naturally not as clear. Now, HDR allows for bright and vivid colour and contrast, whilst hybrid autofocus has also been particularly quick. When it comes to selfies, the Xperia 10 Plus comes fitted with an 8 megapixel front shooter with an f2.0 aperture, 84 degree wide angle and HDR support. Now you do get all of those standard selfie effects, including soft skin, skin brightness, slender face and eye enlargement, but as you might imagine, if you apply too many of these, then the result can be very unnatural. If you enjoy shooting video, then the Xperia 10 Plus can record 4K resolution video at 30 frames per second or 1080p at 60 frames per second using that 21 to 9 aspect ratio. So it's ready to view on that cinematic display immediately. Now steady shot image stabilisation has been great in my time with the device, giving largely shake free videos even while in motion. So too slow mo video capture has also been pretty respectable and can capture image at 120 frames per second. So as a pure media device, you're certainly going to make good use of the 3000 milliamp battery. This should get you through a standard day without any real issues, and comes with a number of additional features. Now Smart Stamina predicts how long your power will last and adapts energy usage accordingly, whilst Adaptive Charging monitors your phone as it's charging, making sure the battery isn't overworked. Now this will certainly all stack up to help your battery last in the long run. The Xperia 10 Plus comes with Android 9 Pie, and runs a Qualcomm Snapdragon 636 mobile platform that has, in my experience, handled all apps, movies and games without any issues at all. The device also comes with 4GB of RAM and supports a microSD card up to 512GB to store all of that important media. So overall, I'm considerably more taken with this device than I was ever expecting to be. It honestly feels incredible in hand, and once you get used to that tall aspect ratio, it all makes perfect sense. Watching videos has been a thoroughly enjoyable experience, and for the price point, this is a phone you should seriously consider. Now, the Xperia 10 Plus is currently available from Clove Technology in both black and silver for £349, including VAT, so go and check that out. Make sure you subscribe to our channel for all of the latest news and reviews, and head to our social media pages for more. Thank you all for joining me, and I'll see you again soon.